Welcome to the Did You Know series. Today we'll learn about adding record list views to an LWR site using a grid component. Did you know that you can use the grid component to dynamically populate data from a record list view in your LWR site? Here's what you need. An object list view in Salesforce and an LWR site. Let's see how it works. Let's say you have a partner who wants to access opportunities they own. Follow these steps to show the list on the LWR site. Make sure that you've changed the sharing settings of the list view so that it can be seen by partner users. In sharing settings, choose share list view with groups of users, public groups, and all partner users. On a standard LWR site page, we've already set up the column headers for what we want partners to see. So name, stage, and amount. Let's add a grid component and select the data source. We want to show opportunities. And the record list is going to be my opportunities. Let's show 10 items per page. Decrease the number of columns to one and add small spacing in between. Now let's add a column component to the grid to show some actual data. Let's set it up to show four columns. The first three columns will have a text box each and the last one will have a button. Now it's time to start mapping. So in the first column, let's map to the opportunity name. The second column is going to be mapped to the stage. The third column is going to be mapped to the amount. Let's rename the button to details. And map it to a site page that will show the opportunity detail. So partners can drill down. Congratulations! You are now showing CRM data on an LWR site with a grid component. For more information, search data binding in the Salesforce Help Portal. Thank you!